That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, Dijon, man, I, I, am I pronouncing your name right, Dijon? Yes, sir. Dijon. All right, cool, cool, man. First thing first, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate uh, you coming on and uh, sharing this uh, story with us, man. Um, before we get in, before we get into all of that, man, introduce yourself, Dijon um. in the building. Introduce yourself uh, and um, let us know, you know, let us know where you, you know, where you hail from and uh, and what did you do before you got into trucking? Um, my name is Dijon Tension. Um, I'm the owner of Tension and Sun Trucking. Um, I'm running about four trucks right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I was in my, my background is construction. I don't I don't personally have my CDLs. I just own the trucks and um pretty much uh, dispatch them out and everything else like that. Um, I'm from New Jersey. We live currently in Maryland. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much about me. I got four kids and a wife. Okay. You know, just trying to make, well, trying to, trying to, try, I got tired of just making ends meet. No, no, I gambled on myself. Like, oh, gambled. Oh, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I went out here and um, picked up some money and uh, bought my first truck about four years ago. And um, I had seven at one time, but three was Penske's. And I don't know if anybody are familiar with the Penske lease. They be uh, Jay jerking you, so I gave them back. All right, so, so, let, me, my first- so let me ask you this, bro. Um, and 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 thank you for for sharing this, man, because you're you're one of well, I, I think I talked to a few others, but you're one of the first people to actually. So you don't have your CDLs, right? No. Okay, no. so how so being that you didn't have your CDLs, what uh what what made you decide to go the route of buying a truck without getting your CDLs? What was your thought process at the time of doing that? My thought process is that I know truck drivers, so I got a buddy. My brother was a truck driver. The guy that pretty much I posted about, he was also a truck driver. I knew I knew plenty of truck drivers, so. Pretty much, I knew that if I just paid them good, I'm not trying to be, I know for one truck, I wasn't going to get rich. Two trucks, I wasn't going to get rich. Mm -hmm. It was just more so making more money than I was making at my job. So pretty much, I just got on YouTube and I was looking for jobs, well, companies to run open. I was going to do a barbershop. Buddy of mine, he uh, owned a barbershop. He said, it really ain't no money in that unless you are the person cutting the hair. So I told him I'm cutting no hair. So, um. I just went in the truck and once I uh, pretty much seen a couple YouTube videos, figured out there's some money to be made. Um, I looked at this stuff called Hood Estates on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And uh, pretty much I looked at their blueprint. It was cool. But I was like, man, I'm not trying to do that. So I actually got my own authority and just started my own, tr- uh, pretty much running under my own authority. And it, I just like the freedom of of working for myself. Okay, so you, so you, and you did all this without being the CDL driver yourself. Are you, are you planning on getting your CDLs or no? No, no, never, probably would never get them. (laughs) (laughs) You said you don't want to do that. All right, so, so what, so what that said, so you, you, you got, you, you just went on here, got a couple of trucks and you just felt that if you pay the drivers good, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't have any issues. But unfortunately in this, uh, in this post that you made on Facebook, you kind of ran into an issue, bro. So what, what, what happened with this, what happened with this one particular driver? Because in the post you said, you know, a lot of us be asking for the money. But over here, but on the same time, is is pretty much beating you up behind your back. So what what happened uh, with with this particular pretty driver? He's a he, he was I wouldn't call him a buddy. Um, I met him through my my mother and by my grandmother in law. Mm-hmm. Um, and his barber, her barber, put me on with this guy. He's been working for me off and on for about two years. Okay, but really like so so like. I have him working on the weekends or, you know what I'm saying, when he got time, he needs extra money. So, like, I pay him, like, $300. It depends on what kind of load it is. If you're running from Baltimore to Elizabeth, I pay him $300. you running up the mass, I'm paying him four. You know what I'm saying? So he had did two or three of those loads over the weekend, made $1,000 as to borrow 
um, he asked to borrow like 200 bucks from me. Right. Um, I ignored it because I'm like, I just paid you a thousand dollars. You just made that in two days. Like your job you work at, you're not making it. Right. <clears throat> so, so I'm like, how did you still need two hundred dollars? And pretty much, I know that he was staying out of this hotel with him and his daughter, but that's not a problem of mine. I got four kids of my own. Mm-hmm. I got a wife of my own. So I gotta make sure my rent paid. I, I can't pay you and then let you loan you some money and wait till you work for me again to pay me back. That just doesn't make sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't say if he was a everyday employee or something, but mm-hmm. he's not. So pretty much, I'm not gonna wait say two weeks or three weeks to to get my $200, $300 back. So pretty much, um, I get my invoices from Pilot like once a week. So I got uh, real instructions to my drivers never to put more than $400 in the truck at any given time. Right. So for one, I can auto- automatically see any kind of funny activity. And for two, you know how Pilot is. Pilot is more higher than, say, a generic gas station, say, like, a BP Sunoco or something like that. Okay. But it's easier for the truck drivers to get to get to the truck um, to get to the pilot, get access to the pump, and pretty much get in and out and get what they want instead of stopping at a Sunoco, especially with a tra- trailer. So, um, long story short, I get um, I get the thing. It's like nine hundred and fifty something dollars worth of fuel. I said, Whoa. and then it said Albany. So I said, it's no way I was in Albany, Georgia this time. No time in the last probably like. Four weeks. I don't even drive like that. We don't even go that far. Right. So um, so that was the red flag. And then I know that when he worked for me on a weekend, he got back Monday. I sent him a lift from my yard to BWI. So I know he was the only person that I know personally that was out of town. So I put two and two together. So I said, shot him a text and said, hey, where did you go? What part of the USA did you go to? Mm-hmm. He said, I ain't go. Uh, he said, what you mean? I said, I said, where did you go to when you flew out of BWI? He said, Oh, I only went to New Hampshire, which I knew was a lie. Because who goes and flies to a New Hampshire to run a truck for somebody? I knew right. he had to run like out, probably mid uh, the Midwest or down south somewhere. So pretty much, um, that's what he did. So once I told him, I was like, "Pilot has cameras, so all I had to do is call a police person and identify um, that the that 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 was a, a fraudulent charge." Um, they just sent me a screenshot with the pictures of him sitting out there pumping the gas in another person's truck. So hold so on, ho- ho- hold on right quick. So so right now this this dude is is going to different drivers giving some type of bogus explanation, you know, like he need the money or whatever whatever. So he's going right. to different drivers asking them can he pump the fuel for Right. For for them, and they'll just give you know they'll just give him the money or like he'll he'll give them like maybe like two hundred dollars worth of fuel for a hundred dollars, something right. like that. This Correct. this what this so man was much, doing. Yeah, that's pretty much what he did. You know what I'm saying? He wow. didn't. He like 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 my whole point is is this: as being an owner, people always try to say all of these things about oh you don't have no rights for these drugs. These drivers don't got more rights than the owners, and the owners don't got more rights than the drivers. If everybody understands that this goes to both of us working together to pretty much put you in a position that you ain't got to ask for $200 and provide for your family, and I ain't got to ask you to do no extra for me for $200 so I can provide for my family. So you my G, my G, man, hold on right quick, man. And and this, this right here, guys, this right here is what – small owner operators go through now this supposed right. this supposed to be a a a friend a buddy a, a a person that a person that's supposed to be cool with you and shit but yet he's turning around and doing some dirt on you messing not only messing up your credit you know not only messing up your credit but messing up your me, messing up the business entirety man and you right, got and, right. and, you, and you got us drivers out here that says, oh, well, owner operators don't pay as good and they don't do this, that, and the third. But yet you got drivers like him doing bullshit like that, which makes it hard right. for you guys to pay us good. Right. No, like, listen, I, I'll give you like this. He didn't mess anything up. Mm-hmm. What he did was I just wanted to post 
because I be seeing so many drivers on that on that CDL whatever we on, mm-hmm. and they they be like I pay two thousand dollars, twenty five hundred dollars, but they don't assume no risk. They don't have no skin in the game, mm-hmm. and at the end of the day, it's easy to ask for money that you don't truly understand what the breakdown is. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to be a worker, but then it's another to be a boss. You know what I'm Boom. saying? And it's the boss. Boom. So it's, so, so, so it's, it's, it's like the concept of you working and you working for a pay. I'm working to make sure I'm able to pay you and keep running. You know what I'm saying? I got to look at you as responsible. I'm responsible for you. I'm responsible for your family. You know what I'm saying? I offer health insurance. I help with 401k. If you need all, if you get paid, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 I want to, I want to build as, as I build you, you build me, and we build together. That's what I, how I come off and I keep driving. Here's the problem. I don't come at like, Here is the problem with that, bro. The motherfuckers is, is looking at what's in your pockets. Right. They're not seeing, they're not seeing your vision. You know what I'm right. saying? You trying to you you trying to get them to understand, you know, to understand and to help you build, but they're not seeing that. They just seeing, right. oh well, this man bringing in X amount of dollars, and and maybe he could give me a little bit more and all like that. But once you negotiate something with that person and they accept it, then there's no exactly. way. So you, it's no way for you to get upset at that because that's what you negotiated that at. Right? Exactly. I, I do everything fair, 100%. Like most of my drum, my, I got drivers that work five days a week to get $2,000. We don't work Saturday or Sunday unless you want to. Mm. Ain't nothing over here for us. I'm not over here trying to take you far. Like the most we might go is from Baltimore to Massachusetts. Okay. We do not drive to Florida. We don't drive to We don't drive to Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I done built up a reputation with, with a certain brokers that I call. They call me. They got this run coming out of here. I take that. I don't. I don't do the shit that other people that does that. That's unfair. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I do it looking at it like, all right. So, so that's why I keep my. I retain my driver. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like I don't. I, I don't. I don't have the issue that my truck did not go to work because he went to another job. No, my drivers was already there. My drivers is off. My main driver is off on the weekend. He needs to make some extra money, so I let him make extra money. Like, like I didn't need him to do anything. You know what right. I'm saying? It right. was the, and I help them. But what, what, what's the biggest problem with what people don't fail to see is it's not about the $1,000. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's totally not about the $1,000. I, I make $1,000 in my sleep. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's not about the money. It's, it's, it's more so about the principle because the principle. I'm a man because I come from the street, so I don't come from like a family with money and, and all we had was our morals and our principles. Mm-hmm. So if I tell a man Hey man, I need need your help, and and this thousand dollars, yeah, it might have not been all of what I needed, but it was somewhere to keep us in this room for the next couple of days. That don't mean go somewhere else and steal the money out of my mouth. Mm. It's a principle thing, and, and and as a man, I wanted to go beat him up, put a gun on him, but my sister called me down. She said, "Right, hey, right, you don't no, it's not, it's not, no. What you do? What, you know what you just did, my G? You know, and I know, I, I know it was it was a major hit, but what you did." You you just paid a thousand dollars not to fuck with that dude no more. Exactly. That's exactly. That's, that's what you did. Exactly. You you did, I mean he he just he he fucked up a good thing. I mean you know you you said you had him on on and off for like what the last two years, and yeah. and, and for him to come back and and do some silly shit like that now he gotta now he gotta go somewhere else and find somewhere else where he could have probably had a cushy situation with you but he fucked it up by doing that so basically right, right. what you did was just what you did was just paid a thousand dollars not to fuck with him no more exactly but see at the end of the day like my whole thing is i'm getting my back is covered by the credit card right you know what i'm saying so so all my sister gonna do is put the report on him so the thousand dollars that he stole is not gonna be worth <clears throat> the problems he's gonna have with the police mm. it's stupid you know what I'm saying? Like, it's dumb. Like, you put yourself in a bigger hole trying to get out of a hole by stealing. It didn't make sense. Mm. <laughs> it don't make sense. That's, that's so, what's up, like man. I said, so, like I said, at the end of the day, I'm running a business. I'm not I'm not in the hood. I'm not in the streets. So, the rules that I had in the streets don't don't apply to my business. He that's, just, he that's didn't what's steal up. nothing from the junk. 
he stole it stole from tension and touch trucking. That's that's what's up, man. That's what's up. And and again, man, I appreciate you coming on, uh, sharing this story with me, man, and 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 letting the people know that that there is you know truck drivers like that 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 messes it up for you know small owner operators that's trying to that's trying to do the damn thing out here it's it's on both sides man because you know you got you got drivers that come in these facebook groups over here down talking and over here talking about what well, you know i don't get paid this and we don't get paid that and this that and the third but here you are you know a dude from the hood build it up within four years you got five trucks and you trying to give this man opportunity and he goes out there and and do that shit to you man right you know? so so that's all and it's like just as my post is more so to just put it out the same dude that's asking for two thousand dollars that is going out there not pre tripping your truck, mm. not caring if, if if something is going on with your truck and mm. just when it breaks down, even it on the side of the road, like I gotta eat all them calls. Exactly. But you want two thousand dollars. It don't make sense. Exactly. Exactly. Eight thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? And and that and that eight thousand dollars a month times that that's ninety six thousand a year. And you telling me you can't do a pre trip? Mm. You can't make sure that you 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 saving the most money that you don't know how to put a belt on if it pop off. You telling me you don't know how to do the basics of any kind of mechanical work, and you asking for ninety six thousand dollars a year? Mm. I would be pissed if I was one of the drivers that had my my experience up to twenty years, and I know how to keep this truck going and getting it where, and I know the tricks of the trade, and I'm making one hundred and eighteen thousand or one hundred and twenty thousand. And here you go, these guys that don't know shit about the game is asking for ninety eight thousand dollars because they say uh, the times has changed. And times you, ain't changed for you. And you and, on your show. and you don't even have your CDLs. That's 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 what's up, man. That's what's right. up. All right, man, Dijon, man, thank you very much, yo, man. Why don't you go ahead and um. Go ahead and uh, promote your company, man. Uh, you 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 looking for drivers? You looking for you still looking for drivers? Oh, what, what we doing, man? Always looking for drivers, man. I got other business I want to plug. It's called Raise Up. It's out of the Bronx, New York. It's a smash therapy. So anybody that that's going through something that need to go and break something can also go to my business in the Bronx. Um, I got a clothing line called it's called Life of Jungle Clothing, and my trucking company called Tension and Sons Trucking. So yeah, man. Um, it's all about positivity, um, and pretty much just exposing the fakes out here, man. It's it's easy for these drivers to go to a different company and, and get another and act like they never just did nothing over here mm -hmm. and, and, and and fuck somebody else up and keep the whole thing going. It's like the police that keep going all over the place shooting all these people mm -hmm. and keep getting jobs. You gotta stop mm -hmm. exposing them. So you know who is who and what's what. I gotta, I gotta admit, man, I'm looking at one of your uh, red KWs right here with the, with the, with the sweet logo, man. It's looking light. So you, so you got dedicated lanes running out of where? I'm Baltimore, man. Baltimore, Maryland. We go. We might day head half a day head. No, no further than like Harrisburg, PA to pick a mm -hmm. And then pretty much everything I try to do is uh, power only uh, drops and hooks and stuff like that because I try to be fair with the drive as far as I know they like home time and everything else like that. But we got to sometimes do the good sh We got to do the bad shit to get the good shit. So that's where exactly. we at now. We did a lot of bad shit. So now we're getting a little bit of the good shit. So now, All you know, right. it, it, you, it is. You got, uh, you got benefits. What, what benefits are you offering to these drivers, man? Um, 401k. It's all about depending on how. Do they want a 1099 or they want a W-2? Most most drivers I've been running into, they've been wanting to get 1099. They want all that money. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that already opts them out of my business that package because uh, they're contractors. But we got 401K. We got health insurance. We got dental. We got vision. We got, um uh, uh like, if you're going through a hard time, you got a little savings or something like that, all types of stuff that, that they can access. But, it, 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 all, it all depends if they want to help pay for some of the cost too. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about what you want. It's just like any other job. All right. So a driver, what about uh? Would you would you accept? What, what's your experience level, man? Would you accept a driver out of school? Do they need a year? Do they need two years? Or what? No, like I accept drivers out of school, man, because of how I got it set up. Is 
I, I looked at a big company, how they got it set up. I put a new driver in a in a truck with one of my experienced drivers. I got drivers that have been working 21 years, 20 years that worked for me. So pretty much I had him train and get all that, soak up all the good habits from one of my best drivers and, and see how that man would turn out to be, you know? Okay. And, uh, and like, we, 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 I, I hired people that's coming out of prison uh, or, or, or got records, man. Everybody deserves a second chance. That's what's and, up. Um, tension. I'm just trying to. Ten, it, wait, wait, ten, tension and sons? Yeah, tension. Yeah, ten, like pay attention. Go to detention. Tension and sons located. Where are you located out of Baltimore? Or Maryland. All right, man. You said uh, good pay, so I'm I'm assuming now the the now the pay structure is is kind of going to be different for a person that's coming out of school versus a person right. that got five years. So, what's the breakdown pay for a person that's coming out of school, and what's the breakdown pay for a person that got like maybe two, three, five years or more? So, like a person coming out of school, I'm gonna um, start him off at like a thousand, but he's gonna be driving with an instructor, like pretty mm -hmm. much the older driver. Fed. Somebody that got like five years of experience, clean driving record, he gonna start off around anywhere between fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars for the first ninety days, and then once the ninety days, he showed me he getting them. he's doing his pre trips, he, he's keeping his logs and everything. Then it's two thousand, but I I incentivize everything. So like if we 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 got an extra stop or the layover, I don't take the layover from the driver because I'm not sleeping in the truck. Right. So if he he got a layover that the load was supposed to this and something happened with the load that was out of his, his control, he was on time, everything else like that, he got 100% of his layover play. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I got to do, like uh, all the extra money in the world, if you make me 10000 you done made yourself 2500 That's mm. how I look like it. That's how I look like it. All so, right. Um, all right. So that's easy work. Let's let's talk about the equipment that you offering uh that you offering up. I'm looking at this sweet ass red uh T680. Is that is that the only is is that what you rocking with KWs or what 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 else you got in your fleet? No, I own I own two Volvos, a Freightliner. Um, pretty much um like I told you, I gave three of the Penske's back. Um, I'm trying to buy some more trucks, man, but the price of used truck is so high right now, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I would rather wait. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. The Volvos that you got available are, are those manuals or automatics? They manual. Are they automatic? They all automatic. All, all right. my trucks are automatic. And being because that like you, it's just like, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. They all automatic because um you got to look at and change with the times because these guys are coming out of school and and they ain't even getting trained on sticks. You know what I'm right. saying? They can they. And, and only can drive automatics, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I, that's not where I was at at first, but now that I started having a feel for the business, the trucks that I'm going to start buying will be the manual ones because it's easy to change and, and it's cheaper to change a manual transmission than it is an automatic. So okay. and regardless, I can't benefit a person. If you can't drive a stick, I'm going to just move away from the whole thing. Like I'd rather have a guy have, be able to drive both. And, and deal with a guy that can do anything that needs to be done. Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Uh, Tension and Sons, man. Let, let them know how they can get in contact with you, man. Hey, man, um, anybody want to reach out, you can reach out on my Instagram, Tension and Sons Trucking, um, at Tension and Sons Trucking, or you could call 512-917-1165 or www.tensionandsonstruckingllc.com. Um. Yeah, once again, my name is Dejon Tension. We located out of Baltimore, Maryland. Um, just uh, let any anybody looking for work or any information on if anybody wanted to get into drive uh, moving from I guess the driver to the owner type of thing and, and need any advice, man. I'm here for anybody trying to um, progress and do something better. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Hey, I'm I'm looking at one of these uh, sweatshirts, bro. You you think you can send one of these my way? <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll send you my address and everything, man. I'll, I'll you know, I'll take an extra large and what? I mean, not an extra large. I'm a big guy, so what? I'm lying. Yeah. Uh, I'll take a three X in in one of the shirts that uh, you you got laying around, bro. Yeah, no problem. Send your address over, man, and I'll, I'll get it out there to you, brother. Hey, I appreciate it, man. And again, Dijon Tension Tension and Sons. Uh, you guys interested in coming over to work out with uh, with a young man from the streets that made a you know that made a profitable 
uh, trucking company that's looking out for you, you know, give my man, give my man a call. Hey, uh, John, uh, Dijon, man, send all your information, your phone number, your email, uh, your email, your phone number, uh, and all that stuff, so I can go ahead and post it in the um, in the uh, in the uh, in the link or in the in the description. So that they can right, get a, so that they can get a hold of you, man. And again, I appreciate you coming on, sharing your story. And again, you know, and I'm glad that I'm able to help, you know, get you out there a little bit more because that's what I do, man. I, you know, I, 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 I talk to drivers, I talk to owner operators. You know, I, I try to get y'all business out there in the forefront. So if somebody that's interested in coming in and rocking out with you, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, hopefully they'll find this video and um. And uh, and they they they'll come to you, you know. Tell them lockout man right. sent you. All right, brother. Um, I'm gonna follow you on your YouTube. I don't got a TikTok, but I'll follow you on the YouTube. Oh, no doubt, no doubt, bro. I, and I appreciate you, my man. Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and uh, get all that stuff. Uh, send it over to me and everything. And once I edit this video, I'll send you a copy of it so you can share it as well. Okay. Thanks, brother. All right, my G. All right, brother.